Okay. So, 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 so let, let, let's start. Uh, we'll kindly ask to mute your um, audio, except you, you are going to ask a question and maybe to stop video or, or to be, uh, if you are, you have not, not very good internet connection. So, and the, the first speaker is uh, Alexander Zvonkin, so the title uh, you uh, already see. So, yeah. Yes, so my title is, <clears throat> thank you for invitation, first of all, construction of regular maps from the small quotients. <clears throat> Uh, since I am the first speaker of today, I will start with a very few minutes of, <clears throat> uh, of recollections. So, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> so the first thing to say is that uh, there is a news for uh, uh, maybe two or three weeks ago. Uh, a rating by forums of Russian universities. And it seems that for the first time in, uh, in history, the Moscow State University, Lomonosov University, was <coughs> uh, the, the, uh, the past, past to the second <coughs> position after the High School of, Econ of Economics. So, <coughs> and we all understand that the merit goes <coughs> In, uh, in large degree to, uh, to Sergei Konstantinovich. <clears throat> uh, and maybe it was even a decisive, <clears throat> his participation was decisive. Uh, <clears throat> uh, and I like particularly the, the so-called Forbes factor, which is <clears throat> the elite aspect of the university. So everybody <clears throat> likes, if not belong to the elite, but at least to be close to the elite. And <clears throat> here is uh, my closeness to the elite. I believe that both of us can be recognized in spite of the fact that almost 30 years have passed. <clears throat> uh, and one more picture. <clears throat> uh, there is, pre here is present another speaker of this day, but maybe it is uh, much more difficult to recognize him. Okay, uh, but at least some people are able to recognize him. <clears throat> well, now to maps and groups. So, first of all, on terminology. Recently, many authors <clears throat> uh, use the term map as a synonym of a function or mapping. For example, uh, uh, uniformizing <clears throat> descents uh, and belly maps uh, uh, via circle packing, so we, we would say belly functions uh, on computing of belly maps. So <clears throat> in my talk, maps will be graphs drawn on, uh, on two-dimensional surfaces, like in map color theory. Uh, there will be two conventions. All the maps without any exception will be bicolored. There will be black and white vertices. Uh, and uh, every edge will connect a black vertex to a white one. But sometimes uh, white vertices will be omitted just not to overload the picture. For example, <clears throat> this uh, thing is the same as this thing. Here is a usual edge with two black uh, ends, but in fact, there is an invisible white vertex inside. Here is a loop, uh, but there is <clears throat> a white vertex inside. There could be a little ambiguity <clears throat> uh, about how we, how, what is an edge. For example, uh, does uh, the cube <clears throat> have a, uh, 12 edges or 24 edges. So I will try to avoid this ambiguity to explain every time what, what I mean, <clears throat> but just, just be prepared to this, to this little ambiguity. 
Okay, <clears throat> there will be a second convention <clears throat> which I promote uh, every time I have uh, a possibility. I will label uh, this black and white uh, edges <clears throat> and I put, I also, I always put labels on the <clears throat> left bank when we go from black to white. It is, <clears throat> it is very convenient since if we consider all rotations in the positive direction, all rotations, <clears throat> I mean uh, uh, permutations which represent the rotation around the black vertex, I, <clears throat> I denoted by X, permutation which rotates, which shows how the edges are rotated around the white vertex, it is denote, denoted by Y, and the permutation which <clears throat> corresponds to faces, which is also in the positive direction, <clears throat> then first of all, the product will be equal to one, and second, uh, second, it is not, <clears throat> uh, uh, the labels corresponding, corresponding to a face will always be inside the face. This is very convenient. So the degree of a black vertex, of a white vertex of a face is equal to the length of the, of the corresponding cycle of the permutations X respectively Y and Z. <clears throat> and then the sum of the degrees of the black vertices is equal to the sum of the degrees of the white vertices is equal to the sum of degrees of the faces. And <clears throat> it may be called, if we wish, <clears throat> Uh, the degree of the map. Uh, here is an example. <clears throat> so, uh, for example, <clears throat> the black permutation X, one cycle one, two, three, it is this vertex, another cycle four, five, it is this vertex. Uh, I put even the fixed points, six is this vertex, and seven, eight, nine is this vertex. White vertices, <clears throat> one, four here, uh, two, nine, three, it is here, always in the positive direction, <clears throat> uh, five, six, seven, it is here, and eight, the fixed point. <clears throat> Z, <clears throat> one, five, nine, just <clears throat> uh, notice that uh, the labels go, go, <clears throat> uh, so, there is an edge, then uh, an empty edge. I mean, its label is here outside the face. Uh, then five, then nine. Okay, so two is a fixed point. <clears throat> and just in case, I, I would like to say that uh, the labels corresponding to the outer face, if the map is planar, seem to turn in the negative direction, in the clockwise direction, three, eight, seven, uh, and so on. But in fact, it is still a positive direction <clears throat> since uh, this face should be looked at from the opposite side of the sphere. It is not on the plane that this map is drawn, but on the sphere. And from the opposite side of the sphere, this direction is positive. Well, <clears throat> this picture explains why X, Y, Z is equal to one. So there is a label here. We turn it around the black vertex, uh, then turn the corresponding label to the, uh, around the white vertex, and then go to the next one <clears throat> inside the face. And, and we return this way right to the initial label. Now, with every map, we may associate <coughs> two groups. First, the monodromy group, <coughs> which is uh, generated by the above three permutations, X, Y, Z. Uh, they <coughs> also called in Moscow edge rotation group. And in our books, book with Sergei, it was called cartographic group. But well, monodromy is, <coughs> uh, I think, the best term and the automorphism group. 
if E is the set of edges, <coughs> then uh, the group G acts transitively on this, <coughs> on this set. And therefore, its order is greater than or equal to N, the number of, the number of edges. <coughs> an automorphism group is, an automorphism is determined by an image of one edge. And therefore, the size of the automorphism group <coughs> is less than or equal to N. Sorry, Sasha. Yes. Uh, do you assume that the map is uh, connected? Yes. Uh, I believe. As a, otherwise, it would not be a transitive action. Uh, the map is connected. Otherwise, <coughs> the uh, otherwise we should consider if 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 we would like to consider disconnected maps, we should consider them on separate surfaces. One map on one surface another one of another surface. Otherwise, <coughs> the cycles of Z would, would not correspond to, to faces, to some uh, uh, to things uh, homeomorphism, homeomorphic to open, <coughs> uh, open polygons, open disk. So the maps are always uh, uh, connected. Well, in terms of the groups, H is a centralizer, <coughs> centralizer of, uh, of G in SN. Just <coughs> a little remark to recall that uh, the centralizer is an object associated not to a group, but to a pair, subgroup, and group. <coughs> For example, the group A5, it is the automorphism group of the icosahedron. It acts transitively on the 60 black-white edges, so half edges, on 30 edges, on 20 faces, on 12 vertices, <coughs> and so on. Uh, and on five something, we will return to this question, on what five? And <coughs> uh, all the corresponding centralizers are different. For example, A5 is a subgroup, subgroup of S5 <coughs> and the centralizer, which is trivial. And A5 is a subgroup of S60, when it acts on 60 elements, have the centralizer isomorphic to the group itself. Now, <coughs> the structure of regular maps. A map is regular if the automorphism group acts transitively on the set of edges, uh, which means in a way that edges are indistinguishable. So all regular maps are constructed as follows. <clears throat> there is a group, first of all, the monodromy group, and the automorphism group, they are isomorphic. It is, <clears throat> uh, one may say that <clears throat> uh, the, it is the same group, with, but the actions are different. Uh, so the size of this group is equal to the number of edges. The edges may be identified with the elements of this group. <clears throat> now, let uh, A be an edge and also an element of a group. Uh, so the group G acts as follows. It sends A to AG. Uh, and the action of the group H is as follows. <clears throat> I don't know if the last line is, is visible. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so <clears throat> it is A uh, multiplied uh, at the left by H minus one. So why H minus one and not H? It is in order to uh, to have the following property, H1, H2, acts first by H1 and then by H2. So H1, H2 minus one multiplied on the left uh, by A is the same thing as A multiplied by first H1 minus one and then H2 minus one. Uh, it is obvious that the multiplications on the left and on the right commute. Uh, it is just the, <coughs> uh, the 
distributivity of, of the multiplication of the group. It is distributivity of what, how it is called, associativity, I'm sorry. But geometrically, the actions, actions are very different. For example, the automorphism <coughs> respects the relations of incidence, of adjacency, and so on, while <coughs> the generators of the, uh, of the monodromy group <coughs> uh, uh, dislocates everything. Yeah. Right. Uh, well. Okay, <clears throat> so in order to work with regular maps, we must first choose a group generated by two elements, for example, by X and Y, but probably by X and Z or whatever. <clears throat> Take the elements of the group as being the edges of a map, and then X, uh, and then act by X and Y on these elements. Uh, <clears throat> uh, on the right to create the orbits of of the action of X, which will be which will serve as black vertices, act by Y, <coughs> which will serve as white vertices, and H act by Z, uh, by Z, uh, which is X Y minus one, since the product X Y Z equal to one, which will uh, serve as faces. Uh, Sometimes we would like to have some specific groups, some specific properties or, or <clears throat> whatever. So the question is how create them. The idea is to create them as monodromy groups of smaller maps. Uh, at the beginning, just a citation, very known citation by Little Wood about Ramanujan. Every positive, positive integer was one of his personal friends. This remark concerns the equality <clears throat> that this number can be decomposed as a sum of two cubes in two different ways. And this is the smallest number with this property. <clears throat> so uh, we will try to approach the maps in the same way, <clears throat> looking for some personal friends among them. So for example, <clears throat> let us consider this map. Uh, two edges and a half from the classical point of view, or five edges from our black and white <coughs> uh, uh, vertices. So what a modern mathematician could, uh, what information could we extract from this, uh, from this picture? <coughs> First of all, let us note the permutations. So X is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Y is two, three, and four, five. Uh, Z is, there are two fixed points, uh, two and four, and uh, a face of degree three, one, five, three. Okay, I uh, state that the group generated by these permutations is the group A5. First of all, all the three permutations are even. It is obvious. <clears throat> and also the group A5 has three types of maximal subgroups. A4, but it does not contain a cycle of length five. S3, but <clears throat> the same. And D, uh, 10, is, this is the group of symmetries of the pentagon. It does not contain a cycle of length three. <clears throat> so, uh, so our group is uh, A5 of order 60. <clears throat> now I will, create, uh, I will create a regular map based on this data. First of all, the initial initialization step. It is a gap program. X here, Y here, Z is computed, Y53. G is the group <coughs> generated by XY. Okay, size of G is 60. So it is confirmed that our group is 
uh, is A5. Now, <clears throat> L as list. Uh, L is the list of all the elements of G. <clears throat> so the, these are 60 permutations belonging to the, this group. If we put here not one semicolon, but two of them, uh, then the same operation will be made, but <clears throat> the result will, uh, will not be put on the screen. It is use, useful when there are too many things to, to look at. Okay. Now, <clears throat> cycles of, of the action of small x on this list on right. You see the cycles are all of length five. Cycles of y on right, all of them are of length two. And cycles of uh, z uh, acting on L on our list on right, all the cycles we see are of length three. So <clears throat> from the purely mathematical point of view, we have got <clears throat> a regular map. First of all, it is a regular map with all its black vertices being of degree five, with all its white vertices being of degree two. So temporarily we may forget them and think of the ordinary map with only black vertices and 30 edges and not 60. With all its faces of degree three and with the automorphism group A5. Uh, of course, it's, it is the icosahedron everybody <coughs> guessed already. <coughs> uh, so <coughs> what is not so uh, uh, proper is the elements, the elements which are inside these cycles. So <coughs> uh, in a way we have <coughs> lists of lists of permutations. I would like rather to have just regular permit, just uh, usual permutations. <clears throat> I will not explain how this part of the program works, but okay, this is the creation of, <clears throat> of three permutations of degree 60. <clears throat> Every permutation of the previous picture is replaced by its position in the list L. So my proposition is to call the small map X, Y, Z uh, as an embryo of the regular maps uh, X, Y, Z uh, in capital. <clears throat> so what uh, are our benefits? First of all, uh, it is not- Sasha, that, Sasha yes. may I ask a question? Yes. Uh, whether there is a way to reconstruct the embryo from the uh, final regular map? Uh, reconstruct embryo. <clears throat> uh, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. <clears throat> I, I, <clears throat> I cannot see of any simple way, but, but uh, uh, there are some quotients. Uh, we may quotient <clears throat> regular maps by some automorphism and, and get smaller maps, something like that. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so, so suppose that we would like to represent an icosahedron uh, as a triple of permutations of degree 60. First of all, we must draw an icosahedron, which is not very easy. Uh, <clears throat> then we must label uh, the half edges and write down the permutations, which is not, uh, which is always, uh, also not easy since uh, <clears throat> when a vertex is in front of us, uh, the rotation in the positive direction is obvious. When it is on the opposite side of the equosahedron, it becomes more difficult. When it is on the, on, the on the right, on the left, 
above, below, and so on, it is very easy to <clears throat> to make an error and to <clears throat> to write down a cycle in the opposite direction. Okay, <clears throat> but also <clears throat> uh, what is maybe the most important aspect of the of the whole picture, we get the automorphism group automatically without without any additional effort. So we all know we all know that the Automorphism group of the icosahedron is A5, or rather isomorphic to A5. But how to prove it? There is a classical proof, but <clears throat> it is it is highly non-trivial. It is beautiful, but non-trivial. <clears throat> uh, so first of all, this group uh, is uh, is of order 60 because there are 60 half edges, but there are 13 different groups of order 60, and which one to choose, it is not, it is not entirely clear. There are some groups like cyclic group of length 60, <clears throat> which is, which is, uh, which can be simply eliminated. But <clears throat> there are some some other which is not, <clears throat> which is not so easy to. For example, cyclic group of order five. Uh, uh, direct product with A4, why not? <clears throat> okay, so uh, our goal is to find five objects on which this group would act. And <clears throat> here I would like to cite an uh, authority, it is Piero della Francesca, <clears throat> famous Italian painter. Uh, you see that this portrait is imaginary one because the author of the portrait lived <clears throat> half a century after the death of Piero della Francesca. <clears throat> this portrait is in the museum of San Sepolcro, the village where della Francesca was born. <clears throat> uh, and uh, we were there with, with Allah together, <clears throat> uh, but taking pictures, were, were taking photos, was forbidden and there were no postcards with this portrait, which I <clears throat> very much regretted. But finally, a few days ago, I managed to find it on the internet. Uh, <clears throat> so this portrait is a kind of imaginary, there are no, uh, uh, it, it is not lifelike, <clears throat> but what interests me is not the face of the, of the, Painter, but <clears throat> the books which uh, which are on the table. You see, it's Euclid and Archimedes. <clears throat> so Piero della Francesca was a remarkable painter, and today we know him as a painter. But <clears throat> during the Renaissance in Italy, there were a lot of painters, but not so many mathematicians. So, for example. A mathematical book of Luca Pacioli was illustrated by Leonardo da Vinci, <clears throat> and apparently it seems normal for the time. Uh, so Piero della Francesca probably was more respected as a mathematician <clears throat> uh, than as a painter. So he set himself a task to draw <clears throat> uh, an icosahedron in perspective. So what is relatively easy is to draw a cube in perspective. Uh, so the <clears throat> he decided to relate somehow I, the icosahedron uh, and the cube. <clears throat> and here is his discovery. It was it was <clears throat> his results. Uh, this result <clears throat> was not known in the antiquity. Uh, so <clears throat> we see uh, the the icosahedron in a way inscribed uh, in the cube. <clears throat> uh, the length of the edge of the icosahedron is one, and the length of the edge of the cube is the golden ratio. ratio. <clears throat> one plus square root of five divided by two. <clears throat> so. Here, all the 12 vertices of the icosahedron are <clears throat> on the surface of the cube. Uh, 
uh, two vertices for each of the six faces. All the six edges of the icosahedron lie on the, on the surface of the cube out of 30. And therefore, there exist five cubes like that. And now we have five elements on which to act. And then we may rotate the icosahedron and see <clears throat> how these rotations act on the five cubes in question. So <clears throat> very beautiful construction, uh, but uh, our construction gives the result automatically in a fraction of a second, <clears throat> and which is more important. It is, uh, it is impossible to generalize the construction, the construction of De La Francesca, while <clears throat> for us to generalize our construction is just to uh, just to uh, put uh, to write other permutations x and y at the beginning of the program. Nothing else. Okay, <clears throat> the icosahedron is also a graph. And this graph can be embedded not in the sphere, but in the uh, surface of genus four as a very regular map having 12 faces of degree five. In order to do that, <clears throat> it, is, uh, it suffices to replace x by x square, <clears throat> uh, preserving y as it is, and then recompute the permutation z. <clears throat> but even uh, this operation, in spite of the fact that we have, uh, have already computed uh, the capital X, Y, Z, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, easier to make this operation with a smaller map, with the embryo. And also, uh, there are some other properties. Uh, for example, this map is self-dual. It's... Uh, Automorphism group is equal to S5, <clears throat> and uh, therefore the corresponding Riemann surface yeah, has the automorphism group S5, which is so <clears throat> the automorphism group of the Riemann surface is greater than the automorphism group of the map embedded map drawn on this surface, which is interesting in itself. <clears throat> uh, so, a naive question <clears throat> we have, uh, we have. Uh, all vertices of degree five and all faces of degree five. Isn't it obvious that <clears throat> the map is self-dual? Uh, it is not. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, interesting thing, uh, more than interesting, thing I would say <clears throat> is that uh, if we consider uh, maps on the on the sphere with all vertices of degree five, usual edges that is of degree two, <coughs> white vertices of degree two, and all the faces of degree three, there is only one such map. It is the icosahedron. If we consider <coughs> maps on the surface of genus four with all its vertices of degree five. 30 usual edges <coughs> and all faces of degree five, then there are more than 4 million of them. So the sum of the one divided by the automorphism of the map <coughs> is uh, 4 million and so on. Okay. So it is computed using the Frobenius formula uh, with character table of S6, getting to eliminate non-transitive triples. Uh, the character table of S60 is of size approximately 1 million by 1 million. So <clears throat> maple is a great product. But <clears throat> using the embryo, First of all, we can compute, easily compute x square <coughs> and see uh, and see that, uh, so we preserve y as it is. 
and with a, a new permutation z is one cycle of uh, of the length five. Therefore, all uh, all faces of the map which we will obtain uh, of degree five. Uh, this map is on the on the torus. Now we can we can draw uh, uh, the dual map on the torus. Uh, consider the corresponding permutations. <clears throat> I pass quickly because the details are not important. So we get the the automorphism group of size 120. <clears throat> There are many groups like that, 47 groups like that. At least three of them could, <clears throat> could do S5, A5 time, times a cyclic group of order two, or SL two five, isomorphic to ESL, <clears throat> ESL uh, two five. So what we do, we make uh, we <clears throat> the command structure descript description G, and the answer is S5. <clears throat> I'm not sure that GEP will be able to do the same thing with the group of, uh, uh, with the permutation group, with, with permutations of the length 120. This is how, uh, this is a, <clears throat> much more uh, uh, <clears throat> convenient way to draw the <clears throat> icosahedron on the surface of genus four. We see, for example, here the edges of the icosahedron. <clears throat> and if we would like to see the faces, instead of our permutation X, we must make x2, so to turn twice, and then to turn twice, and then to turn twice, and so on. Uh, and therefore, the face is a pentagon like that. On this picture, we may take turn once, <clears throat> and then once, and then once, and so on, and a face will be a star, a five, <clears throat> five eight star. So, this is, these pictures represent a, uh, a surface of genus four immersed in R3 with singularities and self intersections, which is in itself a very beautiful uh, thing. And all the symmetries are visible. <clears throat> For example, a rotation around an axis which passes through the opposite vertices leaves invariant also two opposite faces. If we just draw a, <clears throat> uh, a surface of genus four, it would be, it would be very difficult to, to make sense of the notion of, the, of an opposite face. So the discovery of the stellated uh, polyhedra is attributed to, Ke to Kepler, uh, but there is a very beautiful uh, mosaic on the floor of San Marco Basilica in Venice, <clears throat> attributed to Paolo Cello, which is more or less two centuries before Kepler. Here you see the same <clears throat> small, small stellated icosahedron. Small, it is called small stellated dodecahedron because the faces are of degree five. <clears throat> and once I was asked by Michel Fassmann, can I exhibit a non-contractible cycle? I could not re uh, uh, give a <clears throat> uh, response uh, at the <clears throat> oh <clears throat> on the spot, but now I I can say that yes. <clears throat> let us take a Hamiltonian cycle on the graph. Uh, so a Hamiltonian cycle is a non-self-intersecting cycle which passes exactly once through each vertex. Uh, <clears throat> it is called the, such cycles are called Hamiltonian since it was Hamilton who proposed 
to find such a cycle on the icosahedron, which is interesting for us. <clears throat> so this cycle is a 12 bone, a polygon with two, 12 vertices and 12 edges. <clears throat> and in order for a cycle to be contractible, we must be able, uh, we should be able to pave it by, uh, by faces. <clears throat> but our faces are pentagons uh, and we do not have uh, <clears throat> uh, we have in, uh, a possibility to pave it by pentagons only using the diagonals because all the uh, all the uh, vertices are already taken into account. So it is easy to verify that uh, to pave the 12 gone by pentagons using only the diagonals is impossible. <clears throat> Okay, at least one, at least one uh, general result, not an example. Uh, there was a conjecture <coughs> by Branko Grunbaum that for any PQ there exists a regular map with all vertices of degree P and all faces of degree Q. First proof was based on it was very non-elementary. It was based on the uh, theory of uh, matrix groups, and it was not constructive. Then there was a constructive proof, uh, one more proof, a simplified one, and, and one more proof. <clears throat> so with our technology, it suffices to draw an arbitrary map with all its vertices being of degree P or one, with all its faces being of degree Q or one, and, <clears throat> and with all its edges or white vertices being of degree two or one. If such a map is constructed, <clears throat> if such a map does exist, then uh, what remains is just apply, is just to apply the same technology. So this is the answer. <clears throat> if Q is <clears throat> greater than P and uh, is equal to KP plus R, uh, we just draw this thing and it satisfies all the quality <clears throat> we need. So just looking at this picture, we have proved th this conjecture. <clears throat> well, I, I must approach to the end. So uh, there are Hurwitz map and Hurwitz groups. Uh, Hurwitz proved that <clears throat> uh, for a map of genus G greater than or equal to two, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the order of, of the automorphism group uh, is less than or equal to 84 by G minus one. Okay, <clears throat> so is, is, such maps are interesting, first of all, because they are very symmetric, maximally symmetric, and <clears throat> also because uh, they are uh, extremely rare. For example, among 19,000 regular maps <clears throat> of genera from T to 101, there are only seven maps uh, with this property. One map of genus three, one map of genus seven, three maps of the genus 14, and two maps of genus 17. The next one will be of genus 118. So <clears throat> here I explain the origin of the factor 84. We do not need it. So <clears throat> what we need is to create, uh, to create groups which would be generated by three generators x, y, z such that <coughs> x cube equal to y square equal to z7, the product should be equal to one. Okay, so <coughs> to generate such groups, we need to draw uh, smaller maps 
with all black vertices being of degree th 301, with white vertices being of degree 201, and with faces being of degree 701. And then take the monodromy group. So <clears throat> this is the first example. We see a map with four edges, and it, if we label <coughs> it, we see here a cycle 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, so, well, I affirm that this group is PSL27. That is the group of <coughs> fractional linear transformations modulus seven. Uh, Z is T to T plus one. Y is T, uh, T do, uh, goes to minus one divided by T. Okay, so <coughs> the product uh, one times six is equal to minus one to six. That is minus one modulus seven. Here the same thing, and here is 20, which is minus one modulo seven. <coughs> and one divided by zero is infinity, one divided by infinity is zero. Okay, so what we get, the group is order 168. What we get is a Hurwitz map <coughs> of genus three, which is more than famous. For example, here is a whole book of 340 pages devoted exceptionally to this group. So there are 57 groups of order 168, <clears throat> but only one of them is Hurwitz. The Fricke Macbeth map of genus seven. <clears throat> uh, the order of its automorphism group is 504 which is 84 times six, and hence the genus is seven. <clears throat> it is a long history uh, of this group. There were <clears throat> two papers, one by Burnside, one by Fricke. <clears throat> then the map was rediscovered by Macbeth. Uh, so people still study this map, still continue to study it. With our technology, <clears throat> what we need is this simple map. Uh, the group is PSL uh, 2.8. So it acts on nine elements, on nine elements. Uh, F, <clears throat> uh, F8 plus infinity. Uh, uh, well, I affirm that the corresponding group, the monodromy group, of this map is PSL to eight, uh, and <clears throat> and it works. Now <clears throat> I must finish. I think so. I omit omit many things. Just a few words of about sporadic simple groups. <clears throat> There are 12 groups uh, among the 26 sporadic groups, uh, 12 which are Hurwitz, <clears throat> eight which uh, have a planar presentation. <clears throat> and in the intersection, there are three groups, two young co-groups, G1 and G2, and one Conway group, <clears throat> CO3. So the first one was, <clears throat> discovered is 1964, a century after the, the discovery of the Matteo groups. It is very small, this group, it is even smaller than A9, but the minimal degree of its permutation representation is 266. So it was indeed very difficult, very difficult to, <clears throat> to find it. After it was find, found, <clears throat> there was a uh, so this saga of uh, uh, of constructing the sporadic sporadic simple groups started. So this group <clears throat> this group is uh, is uh, the corresponding <clears throat> group is uh, Hurwitz, 
we see that uh, here are the black vertices of degrees three and one, two and one, seven, uh, only seven, okay? So <clears throat> it is possible to construct a regular Hurwitz map of genus 2091. Okay, the group Yanko 2. Here is a picture. <clears throat> the group Yanko 2 is bigger as a group, but it has a permutation representation of degree 100. So here is picture created by Garth Jones. The monodromy group is G2, uh, and it uh, permits to construct <clears throat> to construct the regular Hurwitz group. Well, so <clears throat> the monster group is also Hurwitz. Its order is like that. <clears throat> so the genus of the corresponding regular map is like that, uh, approximately 10 to the power 52. Uh, it is uh, a similar phenomenon as with the Anko group G1. <clears throat> so the group is not, it is big, but not so big. It is smaller than the group A44, but <clears throat> its perm permutation representations need permutations of length of degree approximately 10 to the power 20, <clears throat> or alternatively, the elements of, the, of this group can be represented as matrices of this size. So to represent even one element is extremely difficult. <clears throat> when, uh, so I finish in one minute, just to recall a conversation with a friend, which is, who is also a mathematician. He asked me, what do I do in mathematics? I replied that combinatorics of maps. <clears throat> but I thought he told me that the four color theorem was already proved. Yes, it was proved. And then what do you do? So <clears throat> uh, uh, I would like to say that <clears throat> there are plenty of things which remain to do. And <clears throat> notice that I never mentioned the relations of maps to Galois theory, uh, that is the theory of the Saint d'Enfant. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so I started with the number which can be represented in uh, uh, as a sum of two cubes in two different ways. Here is the number which can be represented as the sum of two squares in two different ways. <clears throat> uh, this equality was already known to Diophantus, uh, and it also uh, found a way to create infinitely many examples like that. And <clears throat> this series of examples permit us to, to find <clears throat> infinitely many purely cubic fields, which are <clears throat> Uh, modular fields of orbits, of cubic orbits of, of trees. Uh, so <clears throat> it is just a relation to Galois theory, but also to the number 65. And <clears throat> well, it is finished. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sasha. <laughs> may I ask a couple of questions? Uh, you may. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm allowed to. Uh, you have mentioned in your second example uh, a map on a torus. Yes. And uh, uh, which is the embryo of a map on a, a genus 4 uh, curve. Yes. There are uh, some relation between this torus and this genus 4 uh, curve considered as uh, Billy uh, curves. Uh, for example, is there a covering uh, of the torus by this uh, by this curve? Uh, 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 I mean, a ramified uh, covering. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, yes, certainly yes. <clears throat> so we may <clears throat> we can make uh, a sort of a large diagram <clears throat> on the <clears throat> on the upper level, the icosahedron, and then 
uh, various quotients which go, so quotient by the rotation of degree <coughs> five, by rotations of degree three, by symmetries of order two, and so on. <coughs> so there is a whole diagram which uh, creates many, many maps below, I mean, which finally goes to, to one edge. <coughs> and then we can <coughs> apply uh, the same operation of replacing of replacing x by x squared <coughs> on every level of this to every element of this picture and in this way we obtain the <coughs> uh, some uh, some uh, functions from maps to maps but certainly there exist holomorphic <coughs> meromorphic functions there will be <coughs> some surfaces of genus two and surfaces of genus one. <coughs> so on the upper level, there will be bring curve of genus four. Uh, on the lower level, just one edge, but in between, there will be many things of various genus planar, non-planar and so on. But <coughs> it, it is very interesting to compute them. It would be very interesting to compute them, but uh, it seems that nobody, nobody did that. Okay, and uh, whether there is a relationship between the fields of definitions of these uh, two maps? Uh, it is a great question. <clears throat> I ask it every time I can ask somebody, but never, never got uh, <clears throat> uh, a reply. For example, for the group G2, there are two different planar present representations, one of uh, <clears throat> of degree 100 and one of degree 280. Uh, both are planar. Uh, 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 so uh, there is a field of degree five uh, and I'm sure that it is the same field but, uh, but why I'm sure I cannot say. Okay, thanks a lot once again, and probably some other people would like to ask questions. No questions, then. What is Sasha? What are you doing? <laughs> I, I'm sorry to speak so long. Uh, it is... no, no, it's absolutely okay and it, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I would like to, to hear longer than that. Okay. Yeah. So, so thank you. And I think the next speaker already here, yes? So. Uh. Yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, I, I'm here. Hello. Hi. Привет, Сереж. Привет, привет, Сереж. How to undo, uh, how to remove, how to remove my slides. Uh, I believe so the organizers of the, con of the conference can do that. No, 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 I, no? Nope. I suppose not so. Uh, you, you just should find some button like stop uh, share the content or mm -hmm. so I, I suppose it should be read, but I'm not sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. 